Hi, my name is Bafo Chengkipa. I'm the owner and CEO of Park Organic Farm and Agrotech. I started this business out of passion and also consent for food security in Ghana. Growing up, you know, of course you, you, you just eat what you know. But I realized that the human body needs food and nutrients, not food that's just filling our stomach. And as you see, we do a lot of variety stuff trying to see what we can grow in Ghana or stuff that we can add to our diet. And with that, making food as our medicine instead of food as food. When I come here, I don't think about the outside world. Being here, I feel like I'm also taking in free, uh, fresh air as I eat the good food and also breathe around the sun, uh, the plants. And also creating something, not to, not to think about employment for other people, but I think it's changed my life to be able to be very humble, less stress in my life, because every day at least I can get up here, come here, if I feel like something, I just plug a leaf. This is basil, it's good for BP. It is good for flavors. I just go here, eat, okay, something I cannot do when I'm in an office. And I still make some reasonable money that pays the bills. The future is, uh, well, I, I did a bit of uh, real estate. So they're talking about something called biophilix, which is adding agriculture into an urban livelihood. And as land is becoming scarce, as such in Africa, we've not really done proper land management in the inner cities. So we are trying to see how we can bring plantation or vegetation into the land. So this, for instance, my new house has some building, it can feel that you see it. The whole place is going to be roofed, casted, cement concrete, and the roof, there will be garden on top, where we're going to have a salad bar. So my open kitchen will be on top, and open to my garden. And I, I want to replicate it into different places, so it becomes like a, a timeshare homestead, homestead in uh, uh, in uh, real estate where people who want to revitalize themselves, eat right, can go into something like timeshare with us. Where we have homes, vacation homes, and stuff. We're trying to create old uh, 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 people's home and give them a better life in their old age. We have the angel plants. Yeah, I call them the spirit plants. You can talk to them if they bring good luck. It has a local name called Tamiyo. Literally meaning, it will die. Or, hey, you know, my haters will die. We Africans use it a lot for spiritual cleansing. And this plant here is called holy basil. It's one of the most uh, antioxidants in all the basil, the potency. It's also a spiritual plant. You can burn it for cleansing, spiritual cleansing. And it's a very healing plant. We got this tiger berry, which is very good for blood tonic. Right? And this basil is called uh, uh, cinnamon basil. I normally mix it with uh, pineapple, fresh pineapple, and it's like a, a blood tonic. Look at life at this. The more you buy a nice car, because what? You want to feel good. You work hard. To feel good to live with. What we don't do is we don't know, we don't ask the body what does the body wants to feel good. It's not a drink you drink, it's what you put in. So as we work hard, we should also consider that we are working for the body and a better life. A better life starts from what you take in. And also of course less stress and peaceful mind. And anybody who can afford a private farm or a garden, please do it because it changes your mind, it changes your morals, and you know, it connects. It connects your being to it. And it's, 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 it's a healing. It's not something you can talk about it. It's a feeling you got to do to feel it. Go back to the roots. That's what I believe.